What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I'm going to do part 2 of my legendary animal guide for Red Dead Online. The reason I'm doing this is Rockstar released a news wire today that gives tons of information about the naturalist and just a guide pretty much and tips for that naturalist role. I will link this article down in the description. I'm not going to go over everything they talked about. I'm mainly going to talk about some of the legendary animal facts and tips that they gave uh, with this article. So like I said, if you want to read over the entire article, it's definitely worth the read. It's got a lot of good tips in there. But I'm going to just talk about, like I said, the legendary animals. Now when it comes to legendary animals, they did give a few just kind of basic tips and some tips I talked about in the first video. One thing that they did give, it, did give some information out about that I was unaware of is it says, do not use legendary animal pheromones until you've already received a notification that there is a legendary animal in the area. I'm not sure if everyone was doing this and maybe I just didn't understand how to use them, but personally I was using them to try to find a legendary animal. They say to not use the pheromone until the legendary animal notification has popped up on your screen and you know there's an animal in that area. Once you use that pheromone, then it will draw it closer to you. That way you can track it easier and find it. So that's a good tip uh, because those things are not cheap. They're around two bucks a piece and it gets very expensive if you're just out using them trying to find legendary animals. Of course, then they went on to talk about the different legendary animals that are available. It says there are a lot of an, uh, legendary animals that are available to hunt via Harriet's sighting missions. Of course, you need to be a uh, rank five in the naturalist role to unlock those and speak with her at her shop, of course, to get them. But there's also animals that you can hunt out in the open world or in the free roam section of the game. It says to help you find each legendary animal, try paying attention to their favorite weather conditions as well as times at which they are most active. And then, of course, it gives a list of these animals. Let's go over these animals that they gave us a list of. The legendary ZZ beaver is particularly active around dusk or dawn. The legendary moon beaver prefers moist weather and is also more active at either the end of the day. The legendary koji boar typically appears earlier in the day. The legendary waka boar roams during the daytime in wet weather. The legendary katak Katata elk, I almost butchered that, uh, enjoys drizzly, foggy weather and is most active during the daytime. The legendary Ozula elk emerges later in the day, also preferring drizzly, foggy weather. The Otta fox roams at dawn and dusk, primarily during clear or overcast weather. The legendary marble fox prefers uh, either sunrise or sunset and is most active during clear or overcast weather. That was the one I was really interested in because, of course, I've already posted a video about that. And a lot of people were saying, you know, sunrise, sunset, even I said that in the last video. And I was curious to see if Rockstar was given kind of the same time frame that most people thought that this animal was out. Because I know a lot of people are having trouble finding that particular marble, uh, marble fox. Now the next set of animals I'm going to talk about, the Tatakan bison, the Winyan bison, the emerald fox, and the onyx wolf. These are all available to hunt, but you cannot hunt them until you're at least level 5 in the naturalist role. The Tatakan bison can be found during daytime hours, often preferring rainy and drizzly weather. The Winyan bison is a nocturnal creature, unlikely to be found during storms or rainfall. The emerald wolf usually prowls at dusk or at night, striking during rainy or stormy weather. And the onyx wolf is a night-dwelling am animal showing its face in clear or overcast weather. Like I said, those four can be hunted. Uh, of course, in the open world, but you're going to need to be rank 5 in the naturalist role before they will appear. Of course, the legendary Maza Cougar is most active in the day, also preferring wet weather. This animal cannot be hunted until you're level 10 in the naturalist role. And the other cougar in the game, the Ayuga Cougar, is typically uh, at dusk during rainy or drizzly conditions. That cougar also unlocks at naturalist rank, or naturalist rank 10. So be aware there are four animals that you cannot hunt until you're five and then the two cougars you cannot hunt until you're ranked 10 in the naturalist role. Anyway guys, I hope this kind of gives you a bit more information about the legendary animals in game. If you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, which is the affiliate uh, here on the channel, is linked down there. Also, the community Discord and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.